it is day number nine of the Purse Empowerment Challenge. I hope that at this point in your life, you are feeling a lot richer and wealthier and your purse is full of power and empowerment, right? If it's not, I'm gonna take care of that right now. All right, you can either open up your spiritual purse, your actual purse, your physical purse, your grandma's purse, whoever purse you want, I'm about to pay you. You ready? Let's go. Ah. Now when I do like that, you got to kind of imagine that that's fireworks, right? Because all that money energy is coming at you. You got to receive it and believe it so that you can think it and do it and execute it. It's all in the energy, man. All right. Separate from that today, we're going to be talking about something really serious. Um, it's really reflective as if all the other days have not been reflective, but this one's even more reflective than the days before. Okay. So today we are dealing with our inner 62 year old. Okay. We are going to put a strand of gray hair all up in your purse. Now me, I was going to do your favor and pluck some of my gray hair, but I don't have any gray hair today because my gray hair is kind of situational. It will turn up in the event that my two or four year old is jumping off of something or putting their hands in somewhere or with something that is not really conducive to a healthy environment. So that's when mine will sprout up. But if you don't have any and uh, you can't get any from anyone else, then you know, just get yourself a uh, strand of gray hair from somewhere with someone, okay? The whole idea here is to get you to start thinking about retirement. The average age in the US for retirement is age 62, all right? So we are going to commune with the 62 year old within us now. Um, at that time, our 62 year old self will not be thinking about any Louboutins and no Gucci, no Gucci, no Gucci, no Gucci, and none of that stuff will matter to the 62 year old. At that point, the 62 year old is getting ready to phase outside of her work life. You know, her energy level has changed, her interest has changed, and at this point, she's not working as much, so her gainful employment days are starting to dwindle. What is going to carry us through that time? Uh, the truth of the matter is, no matter how many colonics we take, how much organic food we eat, how many times we decide to boost or not boost our boobs, we are going to age and we're going to need a lot more than what's on our back, on our wrists, and in our driveway to carry us through. So let's have that conversation with our 62 year old self. What is it that she's going to need at that point? Where is she going to want to live? Is she going to want to live with her children? Will she be finished paying for her property? Will she then you know, have residuals that's going to offset the amount that she's going to get for social security? Let's start having that conversation now because if you fail the plan, your plan will fail, right? Okay, so let's talk about some starting points because I got all preachy, you know I get all preachy, okay? So let's deal with some starting points, some very simple starting points with this, number one. No matter where you are, you can begin to save up for your retirement. If all you have when you build your budget is an additional $5, then you start with that $5. When you grow, it will show, okay? Let's just say you have 500 additional dollars. Wherever you are within this spectrum, you're going to start where you are and begin to start saving up for retirement, okay? Now, the second thing is, if you are already saving up for retirement, you're gonna figure out how you can actually up the ante, okay? You're gonna figure out if you're only doing the 2%, you know? You're gonna figure out maybe, what would it, how would it change my budget if I decided to do 5% or 10% or 20%, okay? You want to begin to consider where you're, what you're doing with your money as it relates to by percentages and what you're investing in to get the most out of your retirement money right now. And lastly, you wanna have a diversification conversation. If you are tiddling closer to the age of 62 at this point, dollar cost averaging is no longer working for you at this point, you need to be a whole lot more conservative, okay? So you want to get things that are going to have less and less risk, okay? Um, that's where you are in the conversation. You're gonna assess one, have I not started saving up for retirement? If I haven't, how can I start? Where can I start and with what? Secondly, if you already started, you wanna figure out how can I up the in ante? How can I maximize my money already, okay? And thirdly, the last thing that you wanna do, if you are already doing all of these things, you wanna figure out how you can begin to become a better diversifier. You need to have a whole lot of diversification within your portfolio, okay? So if you have not started, this is the day that you need to, and if you have already started, this is a day that you get better. This is Purse Empowerment, Shawnee Curry St. Bill. If you want to have have more of this conversation, just head over to personpowerment.com and I will see you tomorrow for day number 10.